This tutorial explains how to create a sequence of values using the seek function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and the first example is shown in line one of the code. And in this line of code, I'm simply applying the seek function to a single value, in this case to the value 10. So if you run line one of the code, you can see that we have created a sequence from one to 10 by intervals of one. So we have created a vector of 10 values. So this is the simplest application of the seek function. However, we can specify many additional arguments to the seek function. So in the second example, I'm setting a starting point as well as a finishing point for the sequence. So in this case, I want to create a sequence from the value three to the value 10. So if you run line three of the code, you can see that another sequence was created at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this sequence was starting at the starting point three and was ending at the finishing point 10. You can also see that this sequence still has an interval of one. So we can change that using the code that you can see in line five. So in this line of code, I'm again using the starting point three, the finishing point 10. And then in addition to that, I'm specifying the interval that I want to use. So if I run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom that another vector is created. And this time our sequence is still starting at three, finishing at 10 but the intervals have been set to 0.5. Another thing that we can specify within the sequence function is the length out argument, as you can see in line seven of the code, and the length out argument specifies how long our sequence should be. Again, we are specifying the starting and finishing points of three and 10. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that another sequence was created and this sequence has a length of five values. So the intervals of this sequence are depending on the number of elements that I want to create. Similar to that, we can use the along with argument. So in this case, we are creating the same output as in the previous example. However, this time we are using the along with argument instead of the length out argument. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that the same output has been created as in the previous example. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.